Autumn season is upon us, the temperatures are falling, and the beers are getting hardier. And I have some beers for the season I want to present to you, give you some options if you want to vary things up a little bit. And I'm starting with probably the, my goodness, I guess the godfather of fall beers, an Oktoberfest beer. This is from Cape May. Now, this style of beer, which is called a Merzen, goes back to its origin in 1841 in Munich, Germany. So you use a lot of German malt, German-based beer, uh, German-based grains, I should say, and it comes in a little over 5% alcohol by volume. My next beer goes down to Louisiana, and this is a pecan ale from a company called Abita Brewing. So the company actually raises, grows these pecans, roasts them, and then inserts them into the, into the mix. So you're gonna get a little bit of a nutty flavor and nutty aroma to this, but it's very, very subtle. Wow. When you think of fall beers, you gotta go to the pumpkin ales. The pumpkin beers are so big this time of year, and it's a style that goes back to the colonization of the New World, 17th, 18th centuries. Uh, people would grow pumpkins primarily for the starch, which could be converted into fermentable sugar. So it made a very clean tasting beer. The style unfortunately died out as German and English settlers came into the New World and they had been used to brewing beer using grain. So pumpkins disappeared probably until around 1985 when a fellow by the name of Bill Owens came around and found George Washington's recipes for making pumpkin ales. And uh, it's in, since then it just absolutely took off. There's a difference in color between these two. This first one is a derivation of uh, bone saw brewing in glass brewers, they're cream ale. So what they did with this, they add some spice to it. And you may notice that they also rim the glass in pumpkin spice as well as cinnamon and sugar. So it adds a little bit more flavor to it. And this next beer from Easton, Pennsylvania, Weyerbacher Brewing. This is maybe my go-to pumpkin ale. This is their Imperial Pumpkin, absolutely delicious. Uh, you're gonna get all the spices coming through, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, cardamom, which is a derivation of, um, of nutmeg, actually. So it's a really, really delicious beer. And I'm gonna take a little sip of this right now. Mm, absolutely delicious. So as you're considering your fall beer purchases, look for the seasonals, vary things up a little bit. These beers will only be out for a few weeks. They match nicely with some of the heartier foods. And again, these styles are Oktoberfest, a locally infused beer with pecans, and also those tremendous pumpkin beers. And that's it, Gary Monteroso. Enjoy yourself, stay healthy, and enjoy good beer. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.